Hello and welcome to another episode of Bench Warmers. I guess it's been a while since we've done this, it feels like, uh, before the Christmas break. Um, but the Sabres are back in town this weekend against Scriber. A uh, bit of a couple tough road games, the last couple games. Uh, Mitch, tell us, uh, I guess, the state of the Sabres. Well, they're a little injury riddled at this point and they don't have a lot of depth because uh, they tried to make four trades before the January 10th deadline and they all fell through. Whether it was the guy not reporting or they just couldn't come to terms with the other team, uh, it was a bit of both, I think. But uh, definitely an issue they have to look into as they try to sign players here. But in Thunder Bay on the weekend, they uh, lost a pair of games 4 2 to the Tyler Miller led Thunder Bay Bearcats. And uh, tough pill to swallow because Miller came out and scored six points against them in the two games. But uh, they put in a pretty good effort. They were obviously undermanned and a little overmatched. Um, Ryan Farragher faced. 57 shots in Saturday's game, so that kind of is a pretty good indicator there that they were they were in tough and uh, sh short lineup, no Colton Kennedy in the lineup, and he's he's kind of a first line player for them, and he adds uh, kind of a scoring prowess that is much needed at this point. But uh, we'll see where they go from here. They got two uh, good games with Schreiber, it should be good games anyway. A team that uh, is chasing them for second, third spot in the uh, standings, uh, about five points back, I believe with uh, equal amount of games played, so that should be interesting. Uh, I, yeah, they're shorthanded on the weekend. I don't know where this team would be. Just looking at the stats without Ryan Farragher. I mean, he's 57 shots or whatever on Saturday or whatever. Uh, but the, they have a problem. Like, they don't have any players. W what is it? I hear You hear rumors players want out. Um, they're looking for trades. People won't come here. Is this a league-wide thing? Is this, uh, can you, what's your feeling about it? Oh, it's, I think it's partly a league-wide thing. The league's kind of known as kind of second tier compared to the other uh, junior A leagues across the country. I don't know if that's a fair assessment, but it's uh, among players, they set, tend to feel that way. So players are less likely to come here. The location, it's a smaller community, I guess, compared to some teams. Uh, they tried to trade for a defenseman for the Winnipeg Saints, and he declined whether it was because he didn't want to leave the city or didn't like coming to this team. I'm not quite sure what the the problem is but it's something that definitely definitely needs to be addressed whether it's an internal problem with the team that may need to be looked at as well uh, it's hard to say as a, from an outsider's perspective but people are asking to, to get traded and what have you there might be some sort of issue there that needs to be addressed <laughs> 